Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you join us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you abundantly. God bless you abundantly. Don't allow anyone to take your power from you. Because this world is just an encouragement for someone. It took you a lot of time before you were able to take back your power. It took you a lot of time before you were able to take back your power. You were almost lost. You were almost lost. Because I tell us in this place, you cannot be taking care of everything and forget about your body, which is the temple of the Lord, which is the image of God. Do you understand? You cannot just worry about love, about loving other people or who does not love you, about who you need to feed, who did not feed you, and you forget about your own. You forget that you too, you need to be taking care of you too, your emotion, your, your life is important as well. You know, most of us, we worried about a lot of things, worried about marriages, worried about ministry, worried about job, worried about this. Sometimes we forget our own body and we don't even remember that if we are not alive, we cannot do what we are worrying about. Hallelujah. The Bible said, worry not over these things. Say for your heavenly father knows that you need, you are in need of all of that. Hallelujah. He knows. He knows. Why worry to, about tomorrow? When we know that God holds the keys to our life, all we can pray for is a better tomorrow. We don't have to worry about it. Let God take control. Whatsoever is ahead of us, God has already seen it. We only pray for the best of whatsoever is ahead of us. And if it is evil, that God remove it. We don't have to worry. We need to walk in confidence. Hallelujah. Because I see a lot of worrying, you know. Someone wants to take your power back from you. They are fighting so hard to make you to return to that place where you are so naive, where you are not bold, where you have no dream. No, even if it's spiritually or physically, child of God, you need to stand your ground. You need to stand your ground. It is not an easy journey. The Bible says right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. We know it's not an easy journey, but we serve a God that can make life easy for us. Even in a difficult journey, he will make the life so easy as if there is no difficulties in it at all. That is the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Someone is worried because they see the way that you are now. You are now. How much you have taken back your power. When you give them your power, they misuse it. What is that your power? Your time. What is that your power, your patience? What is that your power, your love? What is that your power? You give all that you know how to give, but they never really hand over it well, handle it well. God puts a lot of people in our life to help so we can be of help to them, even if it is just to have conversation. But many people, they misuse it. They misuse it and we felt hot. We felt down. We felt worthless in the process. But a day come and God said, daughter, son, rise up. You are not worthless. That is the day your eyes begin to open and you start realizing that, ah, you need to take your power back. If you have used all the strength you use, then they never appreciate on yourself. You will be better than where you are right now. You understand? I tell myself some time ago, some persons who are so ungrateful, that you carry along sometimes they betrayed you if i have used the time i use on them i will not be more i will not grow more than the way i am now but thank god for the experience because all of that build us it help us to take our power back it help us to stand and to be focused you don't allow anything to take your power from you even the oppressions of the night don't allow them the oppressions of the physical don't allow them because there is a power of god that is in you that power of god is something that can help you to, to walk through, to navigate life, even when there, are, when there are difficulties. Hallelujah. Someone is worried because 
they want it back they want your power now they cannot find someone to use the way they use you if you want to give out your power you yourself need to take care of yourself the bible says, love your neighbor as yourself so it is very important that you have enough love before you can have been able to love your neighbor because you cannot give out what you did not have if you continue to give up what you don't have you will feel exhausted along the line people will call you a failure may you not be a failure in your journey in the name of jesus it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist Sarah. by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye